Hey guys, my son is completely infatuated with tractors. He is also outgrowing his crib. So in today's video, we're going to be building a toddler bed in the style of a tractor. We're going to start off over here at the miter saw station where we're going to cut the side rails for the frame. I've got my stop block set up to make sure that all of the uh, cuts will be exactly the same. We cut this piece the same length as the side rails and we're going to rip it in half and then attach it to, attach each half of this board to one of the side rails and that's where the uh, mattress slats are going to sit. Always remember to wear your safety glasses when you're messing with uh, table saws. Now that we got all of our pieces for the frame cut, we can uh, go ahead and begin assembly. and I'm gonna need eight of them cut it 17 inches long. All right, now that we got all of our leg pieces cut at 17 inches, we're gonna start assembling the legs. What we're gonna do is just put a bead of glue down the edge, make sure it's flush on all sides. And we're just gonna put a pin nail just to hold it. We'll set that one aside and then we will make the rest. All right, once all of the legs are put together, the 17 inch pieces are put together. We can start putting the six and a quarter inch pieces on the legs. So we're just going to put some glue on the bottoms. I'm going to put this on the long side. Just make sure it's flush with the bottom. Put some pin nails in the side there to hold it. We're going to come back and put some screws in those later. Now for the other six and a quarter inch pieces, we're going to line them up just like that. We're going to make a mark on them, and then we're going to take them over to the table saw and rip them. Now that we got those cut, we're going to drill some pilot holes in them. Put a little glue on it. They fit perfect. 
All right, now that we got our legs all put together, we're going to start attaching them to the frame. Before we go any further, I'm gonna take a small round over bit in the uh, handheld router, and I'm gonna round over all these edges so that they're not so sharp. I don't know about your toddler, but I know my son likes to do trust falls when there's nobody around to trust. So hopefully taking some of the sharp edges off will prevent some scrapes and bruises, but I doubt it. Now that that's done, we're ready to install the top rail. Again, I went ahead and on the top side of the top rail, I went ahead and rounded both edges over. So now that we got the uh, top rails installed, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start doing the slats. I've already done this first one. We're just going to use a little glue and a few pin nails. We're going to use this board here as a spacer just so that they're all the same distance apart from each other. assembled we're going to start working on the part that's going to be the cab of the tractor we want this to be removable just in case uh, we ever need to take it apart to move rooms or make it easier to move or whatever so we're going to be using some uh, wooden uh, insert nuts and some uh, quarter 20 bolts to attach the cab part to the bed Dead gummit. Well, this is pretty much what the final product is going to look like. All I have left to do is the tires, and uh, I'm going to do those on the CNC machine tomorrow. Everything else is ready to go. Just uh, need to take it apart, sand it, and get it ready to paint.
What is that, Baylor? What is that? <laughs> is that a tractor? Go get on it. Tractor bed. That's your new bed. Is it a tractor? Well, that does it for the toddler tractor bed. I think it was a really big hit. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well.